Hi everyone, it's Katie and welcome to day six of 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. Today our prompt is Tarot deck you finally crossed off your wish list in 2016. Now I crossed off a lot of decks in 2016, especially towards the first half. I kind of had a bit of a frenzy um, with trading and purchasing decks. Um, a very good tarot year. Um, but there were three decks that had been on my list for a long time that I did manage to get in 2016. The first is The Whispering Tarot by Elizabeth Hazel. This is a deck that had been on my wish list for a long time. I have to bring it very close because it's quite small. <laughs> um, I just fell in love with it the moment I saw it. I think I saw it on, um, is it Chloe from Inner Whispers has this deck? I'm not sure. I saw it on someone's channel and I just fell in love. Um, but it wasn't the easiest deck to get a hold of. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of copies um, produced. I think it was about a thousand give or take roughly. Um, but yeah, people just don't seem to want to get rid of it and I don't blame them. Um, so this is a deck that I crossed off probably about halfway through the year, I think. Got it in a totally amazing trade. Um, I got this deck and Tower of the Crone, um, and I think that's my favourite trade that I've ever done, um, just because both decks were so beyond my expectations, um, and the person who received the deck from me said the same thing. So it was just awesome all around, a really, really great trade. Um, and this was a deck that I finally got to cross off my list. Next would be the Liminal Tarot. Um, this is such a beautiful deck um, and I was lucky enough to purchase it before it went out of print. Um, I got number 111 um, and apparently after I did my video, uh, the artist contacted me and said that sales kind of went a bit crazy after that video. Um, just cause I don't think this was a really well known deck, there's only 200 copies, um, but it was out for quite a while before I got mine. Um, it wasn't cheap, so I think that was the other aspect. Um, but it was absolutely beautiful and had been on my wish list ever since it was released. And I just loved how she chose to depict a lot of the cards. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, so I saved up and when I got, I think it was my birthday money or Christmas money, and I got this deck. And I'm so, so glad I did. And the third and final deck I have to show you is the Royal Fez Moroccan. Now, this deck I fell in love with when I saw, is it Viridian C? Yeah, I think it's her. She did a um, video showing this deck. Um, and at the time, I fell in love with it. I thought it was beautiful and amazing and a bit quirky. All of those wonderful things. Um, and I did a bit of research and I thought that the only edition was the 1950s limited edition. Um, and I saw it come up on Amazon and eBay for like $600, $800. And I was like, well... Wow, that's not happening. <laughs> but then, very early 2016, I think this was the very first deck I bought this um, in 2016, last year, um, I realised that nope, it was re-released as a mass market um, deck in the 1970s by US Games, um, and someone on Eclectic Tarot was selling, I think they sold two decks, they had two of them. This one was not in as good condition, it has a few marks on the cards, didn't come with a box or anything. But I did not care. So I got this for a total bargain compared to what I thought I was going to have to pay, um, certainly. Um, and I was super, super excited to cross this one off my list. So as I said, I was lucky enough to cross off a lot of decks on my wish list this year. But I think these were the three that I'd wanted the longest and were the most exciting when I did get them. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below. And until tomorrow, much love. Bye.